folks, Bill of the North here, and what I've got for you today is kind of an expedient method of calibrating your Link A12 bubble sextant. Basically the way I did it was I took a sighting of the sun with my Davis sextant, and then a sighting of the sun with this sextant, and then made adjustments to this until they got pretty close together. This is not the best way of doing it. For that, you need a collimator, and I don't have one, but this will do. I'm just a hobbyist. I'm not going to be using this for real precise navigation. I'm just practicing my procedures. Once I'm done, I can take it out and over multiple days and multiple sightings, I'll be able to figure out an average amount of index error and then I'll just do corrections for that. So watch and I hope this helps you. A couple of items that you um, want to have when you're making adjustments to your sextant will be the manual, which describes a couple of procedures to do it and a Bristol wrench set, which you will need to loosen the screws with. The large Bristol wrench is the one you're going to be using to do this adjustment with. Do not attempt to use an Allen head wrench that will wreck your screw. I have removed the cover on this sextant so that you can more easily see the mechanism there. How the sextant works is that when you turn the recording drum, the axle that it is on also moves and through gearing it moves the index arm and the sunshades and the reflective mirror are mounted on an arm that is attached to the axle and they move as well. In order to calibrate the sextant, you're going to have to loosen that screw right there. Now what's likely to happen is that once you loosen this screw, the weight of the sunshades and the index mirror is going to cause this arm to rotate, move freely on the axle. And that is going to destroy any calibration that you've already got. So if, you, if your error is only a small amount by a few minutes, leave it alone. If you have many degrees of error in your sextant, this method may work for you. How I made my adjustment was lacking a collimator as I took a sighting of the sun with my Davis sextant. I then took a sighting of the sun with my Link sextant with the cover on. Then I loosened the Bristol screw with the Bristol wrench and I held it in the screw to keep the mechanism from moving as much as possible while I adjusted the index arm. I noted the difference between the two sextant readings and then I carefully rotated the recording drum until I got the index to line up pretty closely to the same value as the other sextant. Naturally, no matter how much I tried to prevent it, this mechanism sometimes moved on the axle. So I did this over and over and over again. But finally, I got it to where it was close enough that I could live with it. Well, I hope this video helps you get the most out of your A12 bubble sextant. I understand that if you do an internet search, you can find resources out there, and companies or people, who will calibrate your sextant for you. I don't know how much it costs, but it's probably going to be more accurate than the way I just showed you. That being said, if you're just using this for fun or practice, this might be good enough. 